Welcome to Dizzy Therapy. I'm Anthony Velia, but a lot of patients call me Doc. I'm a doctor of physical therapy who specializes in vestibular rehabilitation, which means that I treat patients with dizziness, imbalance, and vertigo 40 hours every week. Let's talk. Let's talk about medication when it comes to dizziness, imbalance, and vertigo. This is not going to be a discussion of all medications, like blood pressure drugs. We're going to be talking about this in a general sense to cover many diagnoses, particularly vestibular diagnoses and other causes of dizziness. The principle is usually the same throughout. To be clear, please be safe. Do not change anything about your medications without first talking to your doctor, specifically the one who prescribed it for you. This is just going to be a video to discuss the science behind it so that you have a better idea of what's going on. Be safe, talk to your doctor. Now as a simple description, dizziness is any time that your brain is not 100% certain of your physical orientation or movements. It's actually a really broad word, dizziness, and it includes things like vertigo imbalance, disequilibrium, lightheadedness, uh, rocking and swaying, um, feeling like you're about to faint, wooziness, and even more. Dizziness is a big term. But most causes of dizziness involve one or more of your balanced senses either being incorrect or the brain not getting enough information from them and then your brain doesn't know your orientation and where you are right then in that moment. Your three balanced senses are your vision, which gives you information about the horizon, vertical walls, obstacles, and helps you with seeing movement that you've made. Your sense of touch, which would tell you something very different if you were on a hard level sidewalk versus a soft sloping golf course slant. And your inner ear vestibular sense, which can directly sense gravity and all head movements at all times. So, for example, if I'm sitting in a dark movie theater with a big action scene taking place, or if I'm on a rocking boat, well in one circumstance, my eyes only see a ton of movement, but my inner ears and my sense of touch don't feel much anything change, and all I feel is the soft seat. Or if I'm on a boat, my eyes don't see any movement but my touch and my ears feel a whole lot of motion. Well, because multiple senses aren't quite agreeing, the brain gets confused and you may end up feeling dizzy as a result. And with most inner ear diseases, for example, one ear might be wildly off in how much it felt versus another. So the brain really is not sure what's actually going on in that moment. So what about medication? Dizziness is the single most common side effect across all medications. And yet, there are medications that are for dizziness. The most common drugs for reducing dizziness actually target your brain's awareness of your vestibular system, a lot like numbing a part of the body that hurts. If you have an issue with your ear, then the drug makes it so that your brain won't be aware of the issue. The problem with this is that vestibular rehab is the standard treatment for many causes of dizziness, imbalance, and vertigo. And it relies on your brain's ability to change. With only one exception, vestibular rehab is not actually targeting the ear itself, but the brain. Now imagine taking a pill that makes it so that you are able to perform gymnastics on the spot. That would be awesome. But no, to be at that level requires training and training and training, and a lot of it. It's the same with overcoming imbalance and dizziness after a vestibular diagnosis. It takes training, not as much as becoming a gymnast, luckily. Exercises will purposefully make you feel off balance, a little dizzy, so that the brain can improve at what it's struggling with. Even gymnasts and ice skaters especially, they get dizzy when they're learning to flip and spin like that until their brain learns through practice and through symptoms. You see where this is going. If a medication reduces your symptoms, then your brain has no idea 
that there's anything to change. It becomes a trade of short-term improvement versus actual long-term relief. So the brain needs to know there's something wrong. So let's challenge the brain rather than just numb it. This is actually good news. If you want your brain to change, you always, always can. If you want muscles to get big, you can't do that without feeling the burn or getting tired. If you want your bone density to improve, you need to weight bear to fight off osteoporosis. If you want to learn a new language, you have to hear it spoken just a little too fast to understand. The body has to struggle to improve. And no medication can claim to do any of those things purely on its own. But what do you struggle with currently? Is it bending over? Is it sitting up in bed? Is it walking across the house at night? Is it driving, checking your blind spot? A vestibular rehab physical therapist loves to hear those details so we can come up with exercises to give you a controlled amount of dizziness or imbalance so that your brain gets the training that it needs so you can struggle and improve. Most ENT clinics, for example, won't bother prescribing anti-dizziness medications because that would only delay your improvement with this type of physical therapy. You need to struggle to get better, so don't do anything that's going to delay it. That being said, one other side note is that nausea has a lot of medications that don't directly affect your vestibular awareness. So if nausea is preventing things more so, there actually are medications that can help with that so that you're not as limited if that is particularly a symptom you struggle with during your recovery process. So dizziness medication typically needs to be avoided to improve. Nausea medication, there's more chance there that that could be something very helpful. To summarize, Dizziness is complicated, but ultimately it comes from the brain and there are medications that can cause dizziness and some that can reduce dizziness. Vestibular rehabilitation is a solution for many causes of dizziness, training the brain through exercise and repetition. When being treated for dizziness, anti-dizziness medication can actually delay your improvement so it may need to be avoided during that time period. Train your brain to adapt and overcome the dizziness through practice and practice and practice. And remember, don't change anything about your medications until you discuss it with your doctor first. Be safe. And that's it for anti-dizziness medication in the realm of vestibular rehabilitation from a vestibular specialist. Thank you so very much for watching. Always stay curious about these incredible bodies that God has designed for us so well. Leave a question in the comments below because I would love to know what you all want to learn. Subscribe to Dizzy Therapy for more videos in the future. And remember, dizziness, imbalance, and vertigo are never normal. So visit your ENT and vestibular physical therapist as soon as possible so you can get back to moving freely. Have a great rest of your day and may God bless you with stability throughout your Dizzy Therapy.